Your birthday was two weeks ago. We went to the cinema, remember? You said we could have a party and I could invite all my friends. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. You said that we had to wait until the weekend because you were busy. And then last weekend you had that date. And we pushed it to today. You promised- Shut up! I've been busy, all right? And I forgot. Organising a party for a bunch of ten-year-olds takes up a lot of time, and that's time I don't have right now. But you promise. I know. Stop saying that. Do you think it's easy being an adult? Do you think it's easy taking care of you? I make sure you eat every day. And I make sure you do your homework and that you go to school. I wasn't the one who got knocked up at 18. Yeah, I'm the one who still has to take care of you, so I am sorry if for once I managed to go and see my friends, who I never get to see. You see us all the time. I'm just gonna go and uh, change my dress. I'll be down in a jiffy. Um, you sure you wouldn't like to, you know, shower? Ah, uh, yeah, good point. <laughs> what happened? Oh. Nothing really, you know, same old, same old. Well, work was really hectic. And I tried to get the tube, but it was really busy, so I decided to walk. Got mugged. You got mugged? Yeah, but it's, um, it's, it's no problem. Chased after him for a little bit, then I fell into an open sewer and I got arrested. So, where are we going on our date tonight? I, I kind of punched in the wrong code and I invested all of her savings in a high-risk portfolio. But she signed off on it, right? She didn't even read it. Well, then it doesn't matter. She can't prove that you made a mistake. She lost everything. Everything. A lifetime worth of savings completely wiped out. She came to talk to me today. I couldn't even admit it. I couldn't even say sorry. I ruined her life. I couldn't even tell her that I was sorry.